Uh, it's early, man. It's early. You know, we got last night. We should made it. How are you? Are you struggling? She made it. I'm struggling. I was just saying I'm struggling. It's our, well, this is my first, our first station meeting. Yes. The first time meeting all the new people, everybody's here. We made I'm tired. <laughs> we're, at my, we're at my alumni, HT Houston Tillerson University. It was great. It was so great. Uh, something about to happen, huh? We're about to find out. And when I spoke with AJ about bringing Kelly Yella here, we did a full-on marketing strategy and plan and roll out. Uh, I got Risha with me. She's never been to HT before. First time. So we're gonna show her around and you know, do a little bit of the Hella Yellow origin story because it all started right here at HT. Y'all see I'm repping today. Okay. I got my hat on. They told me we was gonna be here for the meeting, so <laughs> I had to pull it out. And this parking lot right here, this little like 14 car parking lot is where I did my first party ever. The DJ didn't show up for the party and I was in my room DJing. And it was like, man, just go get him to be in his room DJing. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> and I was literally right where this little can is right here. I remember this guy's mic. I had a whole desktop computer. Like, I know, I know laptop, like, the computer with the, with the booty on the screen. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And some school issue speakers. I was just right here. I, don't ask me if I did a good job, because I don't know. You rest for your alma mater. Got to HBCU, the oldest institution of higher learning in Austin. Wow. Since 1952. That's so cool. When Houston and Tillerson, that's why all the buildings got two names, like Davis during, uh, we was in the, I don't know, we, we don't buy it, like this is the DD, the AL. Oh, okay. Like Houston, Tillerson, each, each building has a name from Houston and Tillerson. This is Union right here. Mm -hmm. Is this like the dining hall? Yeah. Oh, like okay. The, the ticket space. So every Friday from 11 to 1, I would DJ in here. It didn't look this nice back then but I would DJ in here. So you got a picture like me as a college student, just starting to DJ. I'm with all of my peers that like, I eat lunch with and go to class with. It's daytime, it's bright, nobody's drinking. I was, that's how I started DJing. So you gotta imagine, it's kind of a hard crowd to deal with. But we got groups like that that used to like step through and stuff and keep it alive. We're gonna make it hot, we're gonna make it hot right now. <laughs> Cause you're um, I'm just always reminiscing my old nigga shit. Man. Oh, I feel that. I feel that though. You gotta get back to the alumni, man. Not your stuff right now, but you know. Come on, come on. Get it right right now. You know, practice for homecoming. It's the behind the scenes. February 19th. Yeah, yeah, we in early. Gotta get it right. Shit, we can't be slacking. Slacking out there. That's pretty much a hella yellow origin story. And the basketball games, too. Those, those were lit. DJ in the basketball games, because, like, you know, if the game get close, you drop that nut. If you buck in there, you turn it up. We out here, the Yellow Collective. As you can see, it's been a long weekend and my voice is kind of gone, but that's part of the game. We at the Yellow Collective, we're doing a self-defense class because, like me, I be downtown a lot. It's a lot of weirdos. Let's keep it, keep it 100, it's a lot of weirdos. This is for all people, all ages. We're gonna do it again. So you're gonna see how it goes. Coach just flew in from London. Shout out to Melanie, she flew in to teach the class. I might even attack some girls so we could, uh, you know, somebody gotta do it so we can see how to uh, defend that. That's all I was looking for, defend that. I just don't wanna get like judo flipped or nothing, so we're gonna see. Hopefully somebody else volunteers. So we're gonna do a little bit of stuff that I have learned in my career as a probation officer. Um, some self-defense techniques. No gloves, no wraps. This is stuff that you can use out on the street to protect yourself. My main goal from this is to show you how to get yourself out of the situation. I'm not here to teach you how to like get into a street fight with the person. I want you to be able to get away. Leave and get away, that's the goal. Um, so we will do a few different techniques that are um, striking techniques, but the, again, the idea is you're getting yourself out of the situation, getting to a position where you can get out and run away or get help. 
So just get warmed up a little bit, stretch out your arms, stretch out your legs, any areas in particular that you feel are tight more than others, just kind of get loosened up and then we'll get going. It's the same thing like rapping. Well, fuck it, 50 mil give you 50 grand just to sign you. But like your next 10 fights, or it's a five fight contract, or it's a 10 fight contract. A lot of people like at the beginning stage, they don't get no advances unless you got a name or you got a whole bunch of following or something like that. Like my first fight was like 2K, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Damn, I know they come out of like that. I made, I made an event my first fight. When, when you... Damn, that's dope. Like, yeah, I, I thought they could come out and get like a hundred dollars to fight. Some people do get like that, but like, it, like it depends what path you take. You know what I went the harder route. Uh, if you, if you go the harder route, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I took a, uh, I fought somebody in a higher weight class with a winning record instead of fighting somebody with like a another, yeah, 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 yeah. He thought he thought he had an easy one. Yeah, I was on this. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't get the I didn't get the dub, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't personally I didn't lose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it was a personal victory anyway. Yeah. Everybody, everybody you, that loved me, you came to me. Yeah. So, that shit valuable, I'll be telling people, like, like, getting people to, like, go somewhere, get people to buy, like, one of anything is, like... It's hard to get a motherfucker to tap, open it, open download it, oh, them, you yeah, feel me? To double tap some shit, uh, like. A mixtape link, yeah. so it was crazy for me to see the turnout I got on um, boxing. It was, you know, it was way bigger than the shit I do with my it's music. Crazy, right. and I was, I was, yeah, like, crazy. I was sad for a little minute, but I was like, nah, this, this, this... You got real, real life people still fuck with you just, like, in a different way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So it's still, it's still, it's still love, it's just, like... They fuck me on the, on the box, yeah, a little more tougher. Like if I can figure it out, I'd definitely do that shit. Yeah, you got the keys, man. Yeah. I gotta get my, I gotta get my Don King license. Bro, look, you got music, you got chicks, you got brew, and fighting. That's the thing is, like, man, I don't wanna have too much, cause you know when niggas watching the fight and they're drunk, you know? <laughs> you gotta have too much liquor in there. You gotta have more security in the crowd than in the... Oh, uh, and then yeah. the <laughs> I got a different voice, so I gotta figure out how to use it. Yeah, just embrace the raspy. The right, boy. embrace it today. Now, what are, we, what are we talking about? Okay, we're going to talk about a recap of our first show. It's in the notes, right? It's the vibes, it. how it was. DJ Hella Yella and Re. Y'all don't know how cold I am hitting those things right there. How they always end right when the song starts. Like people can't. All right, you spoke, spoke about your dad. A lot of people don't know. Your dad was the first African-American male to receive a football scholarship at UT, correct? Hook him. All right, so I bet, when what's the experience like now, like going to games and stuff? Oh, like man, that? it's crazy now. Because like, usually, like, you know, I get on a person. I know people. Yeah. Like, I go there. I'm the plus one man. Like, he's the <laughs> VIP. Like, I call my dad, like, man, you going to go to the game? Like, you get the tickets? <laughs> Like we in the we in the players box, like open bar, barbecue, all that.